Hello everyone! Oh my goodness, my makeup does not even match my skin tone. I got sunburn a few weeks ago and you can definitely tell, but I'm not buying a new shade of foundation just for me to have this shade for two more weeks. I don't think so. Okay. Welcome to another video where I mess up my hair. I do really like this dark brown color. I think it's a good contrast between my skin tone, my eye color, and my hair color, but it is really high maintenance. I feel like I dye my hair and within four days, I start to see blonde again. Because my blonde is such a different color than the bottom of my hair, it looks like I'm balding. Look at that. It looks like I'm balding. So I think I'm gonna try to do maybe a lower maintenance color for a little while. Maybe something that's just a few shades off from my natural color so that when it starts to grow out a little bit, you can't immediately see it and it looks like I have bald spots because as soon as my hair separates, you see that. It looks like I have full on, like if I do this, that's just more blonde hair right there, but it goes, looks like I'm balding. She's right. If you have blonde hair and you dye it dark and you have a regrowth very fast, then your regrowth is lighter than your length then it seems you have thinner, fine hair than it normally is. If you are coloring your hair, then the scalp is darker, then it seems that you have thicker hair. If you have a regrowth, then you can take eyeshadow and then you go over your scalp in the front or in the sideline. And then again, your scalp is a little bit colored and then it seems you have more hair. But now, if she has a regrowth, it's, it's like you have bald spots. That's, that's true. If you have big changes, like you have dark hair and you want to go to blonde, the regrowth in two weeks, you will, have to, you will see a regrowth. The same thing if you are blonde and you go darker. In two, three weeks, then you will see again the regrowth. So the more change you do with, from your natural color, the more easy you will see the regrow. That's normal. So I was thinking of trying to do something a little bit less high maintenance. I watched half of a video where this girl didn't use bleach to take out the semi-permanent hair dye in her hair. And this is semi-permanent hair dye. So I think that hopefully I can do the same thing. The one thing I'm very nervous about is because this is brown and as you can see it has a red tint to it, I'm afraid that if I take this out it won't lift entirely and I will get like a orange which is a fantastic color for people who are bold but my skin tone is pink and so the warmer tones don't look great on me wearing them or in my hair. If you are going from brown to blonde, then you will get through the red pigments, orange pigment, yellow pigment, and then no pigment. You cannot go from brown to blonde without all these pigments in the middle. And she's going to try it without bleach. Again, it's going to be with baking soda and all this crap. Who invented that? It's never working. And if you are not going to use bleach, how are you going? It's amazing. She, she's afraid that it's going to be orange. It's going to be red or orange. Or it's going to do nothing at all. She used some baking soda. We're gonna put a good amount of that in there. Some 10 volume developer. We're gonna put that in there. Don't know how much. And mix it together. She just put some dish soap in there and I have some off-brand Dawn. Everything, I have to sniff everything. Ooh, I don't know if I can show it, honestly, without. Yeah, there we go. It looks like the um, purple from Cat in a Hat when they make those cupcakes. That's exactly what it looks like. It's so like goopy and bubbly and oh. <laughs> See, look how much blonde has grown already. You can see like the difference. I feel like I'm gonna spill this like oh. <laughs> 
That entire thing almost just went down the sink. Oh my gosh, I don't have that much baking soda. Five okay, so sections. I've this in for about, I think, 40 minutes. And it doesn't seem to be any different. So I'm gonna wash it out now. That's not that. It's not. Um and get a higher volume. I'm gonna try one more time, and then if that doesn't work, we're going to have to do bleach. Good morning. It is the next day. I tried to do a strand test of the solution one more time without the purple shampoo, and I used 20 developer this time, and, and nothing happened. So... I'm going to dump this. I think something happened. I see more orange pigments coming up. And it's not because of the baking soda, it's because of the 20 volumes. It's the developer that lifts up your hair. Not the baking soda, not the dishwash. <sighs> Down the drain now. While I was at the hair store buying this half gallon of developer. They only had the little sample bottles other than this size. I also got some bleach. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Where are the instructions? Is this an ounce? How do I know? 25 milliliters. This bleach has me looking stupid. I'm just gonna try to make sure I make enough, I guess. There's something about black gloves I enjoy so much. Okay. Just, they smell kind of good. They smell really good, like per, like perfume or something. I think that's just some kind of made. fetish. So let's go ahead and get jiggy with it. Take fine sections. Take yeah, fine smell. sections, please. It smells like it's been so long since I bleached my hair. Why does this smell so bad? It's oh ammonia. Gosh. I'm assuming you have to get all the clumps out like in baking. Look at me using my prior knowledge. I just need to quit being a pansy and 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 bleach my hair. I'm going to That's not a fine section. That I am not going to mess my hair up. We're going to have faith in saturate ourselves. enough. Press the color through. I might cry, but... It's a good start. Okay. More product. It's okay. More. With bleach, you want to do small, small sections. And you really want to take your time, make sure everything is evenly coated. But you also have to work fast. Otherwise, this part is 30 minutes longer than this part on your hair and it will break off. Or you have to rinse it off in separate parts. Okay, is she blonde? No. She's orange. Okay, things are happening. I feel like I should wash it out. I feel like this bottom part has been in for a while. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Like I expected it to change orange, but I didn't think it would be this orange. My blonde got so much lighter. We're gonna trust the process. I'm gonna put in a hair mask. I'm gonna put some moisture back in its hair. I'm gonna give it a break for a few days. This is not what. This is giving me Velma strawberry shortcake vibes. I don't hate it, it's kind of growing on me, but it's also not working for me either, so we gotta do something about this. She said at the beginning, it's semi-permanent dye, but there are semi-permanent pigments that are reacting really bad on bleach. They can be direct pigments, and direct pigments are not going straight into your hair, they're just forming into the cuticle and they stay there. But if you put bleach or high developer on top of them, they grow, they will not melt, they grow. And then you will have more red or orange pigments. 
I don't know which product she used. I'm not going to say it was direct pigment, but be careful with these semi-permanent pigments. They can react really bad on bleach. There are some that comes up really quickly, but if it's direct pigments, they grow. They, not, they are not going to melt down. So this is something you have to consider. Like I said before, if it's brown, brown has the most red pigments of all colors. So if you are bleaching it, you don't bleach from brown, light brown, dark blonde, blonde. No, you go from red, red, orange, 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 yellow, yellow, light yellow, white. These are the steps that you are going. So if it's not bleached to white, then you are in the middle of red, orange or yellow. This is, this is coloring. This is actually coloring. So this is a normal thing. Like it's right here. It's just a little darker everywhere else. Well, a little darker than I'm right like here. Okay, I see, I see, yeah. I see. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, my skin, I can feel it. I'm sorry. So the second time around, I'm trying to do the opposite side first. And then the opposite side. More the bleach, last, last more saturation. Thing, I'm hoping that it just kind of makes it even. I don't know if that's like a proper technique, but uh, critique me in the comments. Don't come for me, but like critique me. Yes, more bleach, more bleach. There is not enough bleach on your hair to do the trick. It's like there's no product on your hair. This is my hair being Orange. twice. I've done two Olaplex treatments since the last time I dyed my hair, so it's actually like pretty, pretty soft and feels pretty strong. But I don't think this is light enough to tone it, so. It depends what <laughs> tone you are going to use. I'm really scared that it's gonna destroy my hair, but I guess I'll just shave it off if that happens. My hair is like the same color as my skin. Like I'm like, it's like the same tone. Oh, that, that does not look healthy. Again, bleach. Bonus round. More bleach. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> what are you doing now? Uh -huh. If you want to put heat on your bleach to process it faster, then you have to make sure that the bleach is not drying out. If bleach is drying out and it's becoming powder again, it stops working. So you have to moisturize your bleach enough. You can put heat on bleach, but it has to stay moisturized. And the bleach cream, so the creams and not the powders, these are more suitable to put heat on top of it because it's not powder. If the paste is coming powder again, it stops working. So be careful with these heating techniques. In instead of working faster, it stops. There is not enough product on her hair. Instead of coloring four times, she could do it in two times. Apply more product and it will work better than just four times less product. It's damaging your hair and she put Olaplex on top of it. I'm a big fan of Olaplex or Fiberplex. Fiberplex is from Schwarzkopf, Olaplex is from L'Oreal. You can do it in your coloring, in your uh, bleaching or you can do it afterwards. With every passing day, I regret this more and more. I hate how my hair looks right now. I have had orange hair for two weeks now and I still cannot get it light enough to tone it. I'm trying not to have a breakdown. I'm trying not to cry. Uh, I might have to throw a hat on and go to the hair store and buy some brown hair dye and just say, screw it because this is not working. I don't know what it is. The rest of my hair is still so dark orange and I cannot get it light enough to be able to tone it. And I have bleached my hair three times. Three times it has been bleached. Three times. And I'm getting really discouraged. I hate this and I hate this terrible decision I made. Great news. 
my hair didn't fall out. Bad news is still orange. It's still orange. What is going on? It's the same day. It's a few hours later. I did an Olaplex treatment. It sat in my hair for like six hours. I'm gonna do this again because I'm tired of doing my hair and I actually have somewhere to be tomorrow. We're gonna try it again. We're gonna try it again, folks, tonight. We are getting this done tonight. I am noticing like this area is a little bit ride-ish. It's like a little bit, um, a little, a little bad, like. Mm, that's questionable and I don't care so there's that damage it's more damaged in the back because you didn't set two timers if you start in the back and you come to the top of your head set a timer 30 minutes 40 minutes what you want then color bleach the front if the first timer is finished you can rinse it off so it's evenly processed if you start here and you are coloring for, let's say you do it quickly, 30 minutes. Let's say, most of the time they do it in one hour, but let's say you start here and 30 minutes later, you finished here, okay? Then you set a timer for 30 minutes. What's happening? This is processed 30 minutes. This is processed 60 minutes. Think about that. So this is normal that her hair in the back is more damaged than the front. Always set two timers. Getting hot in here, so shave off all your hair. Um, yes, I am crazy. As you can see, we're doing this again, and I'm going to be very strategic and go piece by piece. I literally, like, more almost bleach. went the of bleach. Toning time. I'm gonna use the Wella T18. I actually no. don't think my hair is light no. enough for this, but it's no. what I have, so I'm gonna do it anyway. I've seen both. No T18. It's too dark, it's too yellow, it's too orange to do T18. If your hair is not wide enough, you can put a toner that is like more blonde that is more darker, darker blonde, mid blonde. It's like T18 is, is the standard of, I want a toner, T18. I'm wondering how much T18 they have in the store. Amazing. You should start on the hair that needs it the most. Oh, this smells bad. Oh, this really smells gross. My ends need it the most, so I'm going to start with my ends. Oops. She's using 20 volumes kind of with the toner. This Ew. is not good. Let's turn on the fan. This smells so bad. Yeah. It like assaulted my nose. This is very snotty. Ew, this is disgusting. Ew. It's like jiggly a little bit, like jelly, like definitely something you would assume would be in a like Start coloring. <laughs> An alien movie. Oh wow, that shit smells nasty. Right? It like hurts my nose. Like, but, ugh. <laughs> right. You wanna, you wanna like. You wanna play, play or you wanna color? <laughs> right? I just dropped some on my toe. I just need a spoon to scoop this. Where are the fine sections? Fine sections, saturation. Oh my gosh, I'm making such a big mess. Cause it's so snotty, it like slips right off the brush. This is, <laughs> this is disgusting. I understand why people just put this on with their hands because you just have to grab the snot. I have to get the back of my head. Holy 
shit that made my eyes water. <sighs> it's gotta be the most disgusting thing I've ever used in my life. I've seen people do this like in their living rooms and I don't know how they don't get it like all over their carpet because this shit is so slippery. Will this stain my sink? <laughs> Okay, y'all, ignore the mess behind me, but are you ready for the towel reveal? So this is the final color. I like it. Of my hair. I like it. It's like a very cool blonde, but it still almost looks uh, like strawberry-ish um, in natural light. That's like the, the lower piece. It suits you perfect. Like the top, the top is, well, my hair is like dirty now, but. So the top does have a few pieces where it's like a little bit lighter, but if I take the bottom and put it up to the top, it doesn't look quite that different, I don't think. I think it looks pretty similar, so I'm super <laughs> happy with how it turned out. And I'm really loving like the soft kind of feel it's giving me. I feel like this color looks very natural on me and I feel like I look very soft, I guess, but without being just like <laughs> bland because that one shade was just not my shade. It definitely did tone it, like it's not, you know, orange anymore. So this is like in natural light what it looks like. So this is what it looks like more in like natural light. It's like a ginger blonde. It's really, it's like ashy, really kind of ashy. Tone. This is not ashy, and but really, really, really it's out, really it's like nice. This is so close to my natural color that when it grows out, it will, like you won't be able to tell like at all, which I'm super excited about. I think it's really pretty. I think it's- This is your better. color. I think I look very like soft and kind of, I don't know, kind of Southern for some reason. I kind of feel like I look Southern. It's giving me lonely housewife vibes or like, I don't know, I feel like I just look sad. I feel like this hairstyle makes me just look like, oh, like sad girl vibes. I kind of feel a bit villainous as well in this hair color, which I love. So I like it. I think it's pretty. I'm surprised, honestly, that my hair is like shiny at all. I mean, it's not as shiny as it used to be, but with all the damage I did to it. <laughs> did not, the all up flex. Did not expect it to look like this. But yeah, this is the final result. I think I'm gonna leave it alone for a little while and just kind of sit with this and let it keep growing because I really wanna grow my hair out long. And you know, if you guys get me to, let's say, if you guys get me to 6,000 subscribers, I will happily dye my hair, like a fashion color. I'll dye it, I don't know, purple or blue or hell even emerald green or something <laughs> i would love to do a green color. keep that your color really keep I your hope color you guys enjoyed the video thank you so so much for watching and i will see you again bye oh my god the end result was so nice for her this is the color for her skin for her eyes this is really the color she's saying it's more ashy no, it's less orange. It's more a warm golden blonde. Don't go as ash as she wants. This is a really nice color. You have freckles. This is your natural color. Keep it that way. Have you learned from this video? Did you have fun with this video? Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Press that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram and you can also follow me on TikTok. All I'm going to say today is, ciao kus.